Hey, what's up, guys? It's Monoko Mio 2, episode number one of my new uh, Man City Korea. I nearly said Arsenal right there. I'm still used to the old intro. But anyway, though, um, super excited for this. I've been wanting to do a career mode pretty much since I stopped the Arsenal one. Um, but I wasn't really sure that this is the type of series I want to do. But uh, I figured, you know, what the hell, I'll just make another one. And if it's going to work, then yeah. So here we go. Hopefully, uh, well, if you guys actually see this, that means I actually am actually going to do this. So anyway, uh, let's get started. So... Um, let's quickly take a look at what the boards want, want us to achieve in this season. So, here we go. On the domestic cup, they would like us to win the cup. Uh, Alright, don't really care about the domestic one, but whatever. Uh, don't really care about that. And there we go. The league objective. Now, they want us to win the league title. Can we do it? I believe so. But it's going to be really difficult with a lot of good... Uh, a lot... Well, uh, uh, what the hell? I forgot to speak for a moment, but uh, anyway, um, there are a lot of good teams in the Premier League, we all know that, and uh, Man City are one of those big teams, really good teams, so yeah, we can do it, but this is going to be difficult, and yeah, so uh, now what we're going to do is actually take a look at some players I've shortlisted, and we'll take from there. Here we go guys, so I've shortlisted three players that I want to get in this transfer window. Now. The ball wants us to get a midfielder, a midfielder. so I, I really want to get Pogba, I haven't really used him at all this year actually on career mode, so that would be actually really fun to give him a go. And I mean stats wise this guy is an absolute tank, look at that, absolutely ridiculous. Like 90 strength, 85 aggression and really good on the ball, so really this guy is absolutely amazing. Now this guy, o Okora, Okore I believe, um, the only reason I want to get him is because I want to partner my, I, I, uh, oh my god, what the hell is happening, I'm, I'm getting too excited. Um, so the only reason I want to get him is because he looks like a very nice youngster and I want to get him, I want to play him uh, in my second team uh, with, I forgot his name, so anyway, I just want to put him in the second team and yeah, I mean, he looks like a very good player, so uh, yeah, now for Royce, um, yeah, I mean seriously. Royce is an absolute beast, absolutely love him on this game, and uh, I don't think I can describe how much I love this guy, and since I haven't really, well I have actually played with him a little bit, uh, this year's FIFA, but uh, I want to try him, I want to try him out again on career mode, and I think it's going to be a very good signing. Now the only, the second reason I get him is because Man City doesn't really have a left midfielder other than uh, David Silva, but don't like playing Silva um, like out there on the wing, which is what I'm going to try to do with Royce. Uh, because Silva, I mean, he's not really strong and he doesn't have a lot of pace, but he's he's an absolute beast on the ball, and I really enjoyed him last year. So uh, yeah, so I'm actually going to inquire on all these, and we'll see how much. Uh, their team won for them. So here you go guys, uh, Dortmund wants 119 million for Marco Royce, which is to be expected, I mean I'm still not going to pay 120 million for Marco Royce, but uh, yeah, and we also got uh, this, uh, the ball wants us to get to the knockout stages on the Champions Cup, I've actually included the Champions Cup in this year, uh, and which is hopefully going to be really nice. I'm looking to get at least to the quarterfinals because, come on, we, surely we can do it. Here we go. Um, Juventus wants 46 and a half million for Pogba. Um, that's actually not that bad. I'm going to try to get him for 30. And uh, Aston Villa, and still, oh my God, Aston Villa wants 10 million for Corre. So the first thing I'm actually going to try to do is try to secure Royce because he is probably the most important signing uh, in this transfer window so I'm going to try to offer nine no I'm gonna to try to go for 87 and a half uh, that's a good number go for that and that will actually still leave us with a lot of money so uh, hopefully they'll accept the offer right then guys so I've actually um, decided to send Ed and Jekko and also uh, Alvaro Negredo on loan and it looks like 
Valencia wants to take Eden Dzeko, which is not that bad because I doubt I'm actually going to play either him or Negredo. They don't really fit my playstyle that well. So I'm perfectly fine with that. There we go, guys. Dortmund wants us to pay 91 million for Marco Royce, which is. Uh, I mean, I guess it's okay, really. I think he's worth it. I think he's really worth it. So I'm ha more than happy. Well, not really happy, but I'm okay with paying 91 million. So uh, hopefully they'll accept this. Well, hopefully they'll accept it this time. Right, here we go. Um, the offer for Varna Grado from Dortmund. Um, quite funny it is because we're trying to take Royce from them and they are trying to loan Negredo from us. Um, so don't really mind that much to give them Negredo. So uh, hopefully they'll have fun with them. But uh, here we go. Dorman has accepted and now it's all up to Royce. So I'm going to offer him pretty much the s his same contract. And hopefully he'll accept. There we go guys. Mark Royce has accepted and this is our first signing for the season. This guy is absolutely going to be ridiculous in this game. Hopefully he'll help us win some, uh, some silverware in this season. Right, now for Paul Pogba. Um, I want to get him for... Well, I'd love to get him for like 30 and a half million. I think that's a good number. And hopefully they'll accept it. I mean, he is, he is a fantastic player. And I'll be more than happy to secure him. Here we go, guys. I've been waiting for this offer. Someone that will buy Demichaelis off me. Uh... I'm going to try to get him for, uh, I guess, four and a half. I mean, I really want to get rid of him because, I mean, he is 33 years old. I'm not going to be using him at all. So there's just no point in keeping him. All right, so they're not willing to pay four and a half million. So, you know, I might as well just accept it. I don't want to mess around. I just want to get rid of him. So hopefully that'll be okay. All right, then. So Juventus, uh, they want 40 million for Pogba. So, you know, I'm, I still want to get him for cheaper, so I'm going to try 37 and a half, which is hopefully going to be okay. There we go, they've accepted it. That's absolutely fantastic. So, I'm going to try to offer him important first team. I don't want to give him crucial because I don't, I'm, I don't think I'm going to play him that much. I mean, I am going to play him, but we have like players like Torre and... Uh, Silva, Nasri, a lot of good players, and they all need to get some playtime. So that will be really difficult to rotate everything. So that will be a lot easier for me if I just offer him an important uh, first team member. Ah, there we go, guys. Absolutely fantastic news. Paul Pogba has accepted, and that's our second signing for the season. So that basically leaves us with just uh, Okore, I believe. To try to get so let's try to get him right I'm gonna offer seven and a half for Kore um, hopefully they'll accept it hopefully right then guys looks like uh, Frank Lampard uh, the new signing uh, apparently he might think that's his last season it's quite sad but I mean he's 36 years old still a good player but uh, at this age I mean we all saw that coming I guess so not really too down on that, but um, now I think it's about time to play the first friendly um, for this season. Now, I'm pretty much going to go with my best squad available for this game and just see how everything plays. Right then, guys, so this is the squad I decided to go for, go with. Um, the company, Mangala, uh, Kolarov, Hart, Zabaleta, Torre, Fernandinho, Silva, Aguero, Navas and Marco Royce. That should be a pretty interesting game. Uh, so yeah, let's just, let's just get right into it. Right then, this is the first friendly for the season against Almeria. Not really the strongest side in the world, but uh, that will be actually very interesting, this match. It will be very interesting. But uh, I actually forgot to mention, um, I am playing this on World Class. So... Yeah, should be, should be nice. Should be nice to see. So, here we go. Let's get started. Right, okay. Come on, Navas. Come on, Navas. Go on. Or uh, to Aguero, to Aguero. Oh. Oh, no. We've got some problems. We've got some problems. Oh, no. Okay, Navas is injured. That is not good at all. Navas is injured. 
Oh my god, okay. I guess we're just gonna have to put Nazri. Well, that's just awful. Hopefully, it's not gonna be something too serious. It's too serious. Come on, come on, Aguero. It's beautiful. Go on, go on, go on. Finish it. Oh, it's so close. That was so close. I don't know how to keep him to save that. Come on, Torre. Torre. Bang it. Oh. Another good shot, but uh, this keeper, this keeper is amazing. Come on, Aguero. Come on. Oh. Royce. Oh, come on. Finish it. Oh, that was so off target. Oh, okay. Apparently, that's a corner. So, come on, someone. Ah, oh, there was no one there. There's just no one there. Come on, Aguero. Come on. Nazri, bang it. Oh, my God. What a goal from Nazri. What a goal from Nazri. That finish was just amazing. Holy shit, I was not expecting that. I was, expecting, I was just expecting a corner, but that finish. Oh. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Keeper, no chance. Fantastic from Nazri. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. So, 1 0. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Come on, let's get another one. So here we go, that's the end of the first half, um, not bad, not bad, I mean we should be doing a lot better, but that is the first game of the season, but uh, other than that injury, not bad, not bad, so what I'm going to do now is actually bring on Pogba for, um, for Silva, and that is pretty much it, so second off we go, let's do this, Let, I want to get at least another goal. Let's do this. Come on, Royce. Go for it. Oh, my God. No way. No way. Oh, my God, that goal. Oh, my God. Look at that. Outside of the third, top corner. No keeper can stop that. No keeper. Oh my god, that goal. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, Royce. Well done. 2 0. I want to get another one. Come on. Come on. Can Pogba do it? Can Pogba? Oh, he couldn't. He couldn't. Right, come on, let's get it out. Let's get it out. Get this one out. Okay, good. Oh, okay. Fucked it up, we fucked it up, and I fucked it up. Mm. Seriously, it's like the first chance in this whole game. Come on, Hart. You should be doing a lot better. You're an 82 rated goalkeeper, for the love of God, come on. That was straight at you, look at that. Seriously, EA just ruined goalkeepers this year. They completely ruined them. Just so annoying, seriously. In 14, they were so much better. Oh my God, yes, 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 come on. Come on, Aguero, come on. Come on, come on, finish it, beautiful, beautiful, well done Sergio Aguero, finally, um, he's been actually really good this game, he's been really good this game, I've been really enjoying this guy, really enjoying him, and that was a really good goal. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Keeper no chance. Just no chance. Right then, 3 1. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yes. Yes, come on, Torre. 
Go on, Royce. Come on. Can you get another? Can you get another? You know, I'm just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sweat it. I'm gonna sweat it. I'm gonna sweat it. I'm gonna sweat it. Ah, that was so unnecessary. But I just wanted to. I just wanted Aguero to get another one. He's been so good at this game. I just deserve another one. That was such a bad goal. Oh, feels so bad. Well, you know what? A goal is a goal. And we deserved it. I mean, come on, we've been dominating this game. So, uh, you know what? It's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Come on, let's get something going here. Let's get something going. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, no. Okay, okay, we still haven't lost it. We still haven't lost it. We still haven't lost it. Come on, Royce. 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 Oh, no. Was that was that Fernandinho? They just blocked that shot. God damn it! That could have been a goal. Here you go, guys. That's the 90 minutes. 4-1 is the final final result. I've been really I, I know I'm I'm really happy with this. This is uh, that's been a really good game. Really enjoyed it, and I I'm really loving the squad. Squad playing very the squad played very well. And I'm really happy with the new signings. I haven't really got the chance to play with Pogba that much uh, since he came on only in the second half. But uh, so far, it's been really good. He hasn't really done a lot of mistakes, but uh, Royce is absolutely amazing. And yeah, so I'm gonna end the episode right here. I don't want to. I don't want this episode to be super long. I want to keep it short. I mean, it is uh, already long. I've been recording for like half an hour. Oh, I believe even more. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have any suggest suggestions um, uh, regarding the series or general stuff, just leave it in the comment section. And, yeah, so I'll just see you guys in the next one.